Bonnie with SimplySimpleStamping.com. Thanks so much for stopping by today. I've got a really yummy uh, project for you today. Let me tell you about this. When I was walking through Sam's Club yesterday and I came across something, I thought I was going to die. Salted caramel peanuts. Oh my gosh. Yes, please. And I threw them in my bag immediately. Knew I had to take those home. Uh, came home, opened them up died and went to heaven and so um, I decided to create a little project with them but the kind of fun part with it is pardon me as I brag for just a minute because I love how my project came out I thought you know what salted caramel goes so well with chocolate so I was at the grocery store and I found um, I guess they're M&M's Harvest Blend uh, they're just kind of fall colors really pretty mixed them in with my salted caramel peanuts and I'm telling you what these things first of all they are heavenly and then I had to create a real fun little package for them so I'm going to share with you how to do this super super easy packaging really great for a co-worker or something and um, so we're going to get started we're going to do a little stamping on the bag and a little quick decorating so let's get going all right so to start our project I've got one of our cello uh, bags these are the gusseted cello bags you can find these in our main catalog love these things because as you can see they go nice and flat fits a lot of goodies in there I wanted to do some stamping on the bag to do that I'm going to be using the stamp from um, for all things I love this little kind of oh kind of wheat type um, little stamp and I'm going to use the stays on opaque now I'm going to tell you something when you buy the stays on um, this one in particular this cotton white one is going to have a re-inker with it there's a reason for it you do have to re-ink it often and I love the fact that it's already going to come with a re-inker so I don't have to worry about not having it I'm going to ink that up making sure I've got it well inked and guys it's as simple as just stamping press lift straight up now this is a slick surface, so you want to be very careful that you're not sliding across that bag. So we want to make sure that we get um, a really nice straight down, lift straight up. So we're going to do this. Um, I'm going to come to about here. Uh, I just didn't want the uh, stamped images to go all up and down my bag. You are welcome to do that. I don't know. I guess I just thought this was plenty for me. So we're going to do that. I'm now going to turn it over. And I can repeat that same process. By the way, I have some copy paper here underneath me. Don't worry about trying to line it up with the images that are already stamped on there. It's not going to matter once we put our fabulous treats in it. So we can finish stamping these. And as I said, I do have some copy paper underneath me. And let me get one more. There we go. Um, what I'm going to do with that copy paper is, first of all, you can just let this set aside. You can set it aside to dry. That's awesome. I'm going to fold this copy paper in half and I'm just going to rub that um, copy paper almost as a blotter so I can kind of eh, sort of dab off any extra. Now, one thing I want to tell you about stays on, it does not like the air. So let's close that up. Keep that little plastic lid that's on there so we can set off that off to the side now that it's dry. Peel that away and my bag's done. Now, while I work, I'm going to go ahead and set it aside so it can dry just a little bit more while we work on our tag. Now, for my tag, I decided to use the tag bag um, accessories. I love these. Um, everything's kind of pre-punched. You can just pull out the tag that you want. So I'll do this one. You can pull out a layering piece. I thought I'd use this one right here. All right, so I do need to clean that stamp, and I am going to tell you what I did is I did run it underwater. I know it's not the best thing, but stays on, well, it stays on. So I really wanted to clean it really good. After that, I came in with my stamp scrub, and so I had it kind of, I put my stamp and mist on there. I really scrubbed it. The reason I didn't want to originally scrub it on my stamp scrub is I didn't want that white. I didn't want that stays on all over my stamp scrub. So kind of took care of some of it under the sink first. Luckily, it's all good to go. Even though there's a little stain on there, it's fine. I'm going to come in with a Sahara Sand ink pad. And let's ink that up. And here, right in the middle of my little... um tag a bag we're going to stamp the leaves and then I'm going to come in with uh, not crush curry this is hello honey and I'm going to say give thanks for all things right there in the center now in the kit what I love about this kit is it really comes with everything there's some great little accessories here 
Comes with my stamp and dimensionals. I love that. So let's take a couple dimensionals and put right here on the back. Very simple. Okay, we're just going to layer these onto our tag. By the way, there is a whoop little dot there, so that's going to help me see. Let's put our um, stamped image right there. Awesome. Now, you know what? Our tag is done. Our bag is done. Let's go ahead and fill it. All right, my goodies are all in there, my salted caramels and my M&Ms. I have got some cherry cobbler ribbon. Let me lay this flat so you can see it a little bit better. This is um, our striped ribbon. Love this stuff. We're going to tie this in a square knot. Sorry, guys, it's just going to have to be up and down, and I know that's a really odd angle for the camera. What I want to share with you is how to make a really simple square knot, one that always looks nice every time. Typically, we would pull this way, right? Well, what I want you to do is to pull up and down instead. If you'll pull that ribbon up and down this way, of course, this gives me a chance to manipulate my bag. It's fine. So you can see we're going this way instead of this way, and watch what happens. That ribbon kind of automatically wants to come right over under. When we get to this point, I want you to only pull what's in your left hand. By the way, I should say I did right over left, and now I'm going to do left over right. See, left hand over right, under. When I pull, I only want to pull what's in my left hand. And watch what happens to that knot. It comes out beautiful. Okay, we're going to take our ribbon scissors here, trim it down. Now we can just take our tag. The problem is, oh no, it's not going to go on. Check it out. We're just going to cut a little slit right there. I'm just going to kind of tuck one of the tags kind of under. It's not going to like super attach, if you know what I mean. And just like so. Now, again, we have these really great clips and I thought, oh, what am I going to do with those? You know what I'm going to do with that. I'm going to stick it right here on the edge of my tag. Now, as uh, my friend, as she's eating these yummy treats, when she wants to tie the bag down, she's got a little clip to keep it closed. So I thought that was just kind of brilliant, guys. That is how to make a fabulous treat for um, the upcoming Thanksgiving holiday. Well, guys, I hope that you like that project. Let me tell you, if you don't get anything else out of it, just take home that recipe. I'm telling you, they're so good. I do hope you can find the salted covered or salted caramel peanuts in your area because they are yummy. Anyway, I hope you like that project. You remember, you can get that stamp set. You can get those fabulous gusseted uh, cello bags, the ribbon, and that um, tag -a bag. It's all there. SimplySimpleStamping.com. Click on the online order button. I'll have it shipped to you in no time. You're going to be able to make these definitely before the Thanksgiving holiday, even before um, Halloween. This would be a really cute Halloween project to have out too. And um, guys, thanks again so much for being here today. I'm so glad that we could share some stamping time together and I will see you on the next video. Have a good one. Bye-bye.